everyone, welcome back. I'm Crystal Hefner and this is Beneath the Surface. I am at chapter seven of this book. It is called The Rules of Engagement. And this is when I very first moved into the Playboy Mansion. Um, I'm gonna read just the very beginning of it. It says, when I called my mom to tell her I was moving into the Playboy Mansion, I wondered for a moment if she'd try to stop me. Maybe a teeny tiny part of me hoped she would at least try, even though I knew for sure I was going. Parents were supposed to be guardrails, weren't they? in place to keep you from driving off the road. But she'd never really been that kind of parent. For better or worse, she was in the car with me. You know, she said with a whiff of envy, I could have been a bunny. I went to the Playboy Club in London. They loved me there. So I did have my mom earlier on the podcast and she did say, you know, you were an adult and no matter what I would have said, you would have made your own decision. So I definitely understand what she said there. Um, but yeah, chapter seven is moving into the Playboy Mansion. When I got into the mansion, I didn't know what the rules were. I initially moved into bedroom five, and so I brought all my stuff to bedroom five. It was down the hall. The bedrooms go like one, two, three, four, five. There's also a bedroom six, but then after bedroom six, it's just the offices, which used to be bedrooms probably back in the day, but now they were the Playboy offices. Yeah, I was in bedroom five, and I felt kind of far away, and the house I was a bit far away, and I, I didn't know any of the rules. The staff helped me, and you know, a lot of them became my friends. I It was hard for me to like order food and have somebody like bring it to me they would bring it to you on a tray and it was weird and hard I'm like oh it's okay like Sheila I'll just come pick it up or you know I I didn't like the idea I never 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 got used to the idea of like being catered to or you know having chefs and I I did remember eventually thinking like I can't wait to just you know not be here anymore and have my own kitchen and be able to cook because it was a restaurant style kitchen and you couldn't cook in there but I learned the rules through the staff. They told me the Hef pro- ate pretty much the same thing every day. And I just kind of learned through them. Recently, I went to Julian's auctions and they're going to be auctioning a lot of stuff from the Playboy Mansion. My friend Jeremy and I, we went down to Julian's warehouse. And I think what you need to understand is that Hugh Hefner is like his IP is separate from Playboy. So when Hef sold the company in 2011, it became separated. Playboy, the company then owned the house and everything inside the house, all the art and things like that, furniture, etc. And then Hef's personal things went to his foundation. And Hef's foundation, which I'm still a part of, did a big, big auction shortly after Hef passed away because he wanted his memorabilia to go to his fans. So that auction happened a handful of years ago and money was raised for Hef's foundation to pay for keeping his scrapbooks safe and eventually to digitize the scrapbooks. And Playboy still had the furniture and the art and all that stuff. So they finally decided to let it go recently. And that's why there is an auction coming up. It's on March 28th. And so now Playboy is auctioning the stuff from the house. So it's all the artwork on the walls. It's all the furniture. It's all the stuff I hadn't seen in a long time. So when we were down there, it was really interesting to revisit that stuff. And I wanted to kind of show you what we found there and what was there and talk about the auction upcoming. This is the uh, Hugh Hefner chair from the Playboy Mansion. This was in the Great Hall. Guests would sit in here. I do remember doing a photo shoot where Hef was like sitting down and I'm like standing behind him. But yeah, this chair is from the Great Hall of the Playboy Mansion. It's gonna be in the auction with all these things. The auction is Hef and Playboy and Marilyn Monroe. They're all tied to each other, of course. I wonder if this is a Marilyn Monroe outfit. It's pretty cool. Here's a smoking jacket, Hef's iconic smoking jacket. Michelle, I don't know which Michelle that is. Cody, is this Marilyn's? Yeah. This what? Her, that's hers from... Wow. Yeah, the Marilyn stuff's really cool. We've got the flowers and the color, the color scheme. Yeah, I'm like, that's something you would get at Trashy Lingerie. I know it's called Trashy Lingerie, <laughs> but their stuff is really expensive and really nice. Okay, that's cool. But uh, that's something you'd like have made at Trashy Lingerie for like $1,000 and then put it on Marilyn and then it's iconic and the numbers go up way higher. Yeah, of course, <laughs> exactly. It's funny, it's like you know, $5 and now it's worth whatever it is. Uh, so we've got a lot of options here for you. Right. I mean, we can, a lot of the big furniture I don't have. We've got the chair, we have a bench okay. that we can pull. We've got um, 
uh, from a painting standpoint, I know ah, this that was, was on in the display, library. so we can pull this out. So right now, this particular lot is at $1,000, two okay. bits. And that's for the picture that was in the library. I've got to show this one. Yeah. Hey, Rick. So this was in the library. Yeah, I do remember this one from the library. Was it high? Was it low? Was it at eye level? <laughs> Whenever you go in the library, it was just like right there above the fireplace. Oh, yeah. And then he had all the bound books of Playboy. And then he had a custom backgammon set that he would play in there. So this is probably like one of the most iconic pictures. Oh, that's cool. I mean, yeah. above a fireplace, you said, right? Was it yeah. a fireplace? Yeah, yeah. Fireplace must have been big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so, fancy. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I think that's I think that's great. What lot is that? That's lot number 363. 363. So oh. that'll be, you know. Hey, look at this. We even have you talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. So, yeah, we've got um uh Rick, that's 363 if you could this pull that. This is so crazy. Uh what else? This is like this is the mansion. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, the round bed is going? We've got the round bed. It's <laughs> wow. going to be there. So the round bed will be there. It's really large and it's in pieces right now or I'd have it over here wow, with you. Wow, the round but bed is going. What lot number is that? That's 387 and we have $2,200 bid on it right now. Oh my, people are already starting and it hasn't even started? That's yeah, you so can iconic. bid now. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. That is really, I didn't even know we were, like, we were going to sell that one. So with these, Crystal, are you, do you oversee Hef's foundation or you see, are you over at Playboy? Hef. You're at Hef's. Okay, yeah. great. So I know that there were two beds that yeah. were round. Yeah. This is one of the two. Yeah. So, I mean. He has two. Two big ones. He had two made. Uh-huh. In case something happened to the other one. Of course. Naturally, Everyone. that's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> All iconic rich people need a backup. Of course. Uh, oh, gosh. These were at the fireplace. The whippets? Yeah, those are at the fireplace. And, Rick, uh, do we have any of the statues here, Rick? The 391? Do we have 391, 392? I know it's going over to um, uh, Hollywood for Friday. So this is one of those. Right me okay, great. I have this stuff quarantine already. Okay. Uh, those were in the library, these like nudie statues. I like that. That's What is this? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I know, I They're know. They're ready to go. <laughs> I oh know, my so God. Random. The clay figures. Well, you know, I guess it wouldn't be. I remember this. It's definitely. The bell yeah, tree instrument? I don't think everyone really like, I suppose, is it like an instrument? I don't know. I've never seen anyone. You like run your fingers and it's got a, yeah. you know, you got the different tunes. All kinds of stuff. Um, what else do we have? We do have all the bound <gasps> books. Can you pull a couple of the bounds? Uh, they're on. They're rolling right now. I can roll the whole rack. Let's roll the whole rack no, 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 over here and see yeah. what that looks like. Right, yeah. I'll, I'll be back. I'll, I'll so this stuff right now. Was, okay. was it right, these books yeah. that he had around yeah. the fireplace? Yeah. So if somebody wants to recreate that, they need those books, and then they need the. That's picture. interesting. The picture. You know, we have an interesting big portrait of him, of Hef, but it's really dark. That was in the Great Hall. It's so, like, massive. that was intentionally He dark? loved it. I don't know. That's interesting. I was like, you can't even see this that well. Right, like, it's it. right here. Yes. Like, you can't even, like... Look at this It's one. this... We, it's, we were, was, it's massive. We were going to hang it, but you have to be kind of close to it to see it, or you have to yeah. really light it, because yeah. it's just so dark. And then, of course, you know, we've got military garb of his earlier days. I don't know why he was so obsessed with, like, being this... Well, what's, this, like, what's like the mythology behind that thing? What's it called, like a centaur? I have no idea. So if I'm, if, I, if I'm right about this, like Dionysus is the god of wine, and I believe that they had these little character, what are they called? It's like um, half horse, half man? I guess it's half horse. Half, no, well, that's a centaur. A centaur was like, like a whole horse. They had four legs, and then they still had their arms. But this was a, um, what are they called? I'm thinking of like, what is it? The Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. Oh my God. There's like. Well, aren't there things, these things called nymphs? Yeah, like nymphs. That's probably what he is, right? That's what that is? Oh no, it's, it's. What did we, what, how do we describe it? For the 1985 Midsummer Night's Dream Party. Mm -hmm. So he put that on there and I'm guessing that's. Something about the nymphs. It says here. The nymph, any of the minor divinities of nature and classical mythology represented as beautiful maidens dwelling in the mountains, forests, trees, and right. waters. It, so um, I think that gets to hang with the maidens in the forest. <laughs> That's why he likes it. Can you Google the, the, it's the character in Hercules. His name's Pan. Pegasus? No, 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 no. Pan. <laughs> <laughs> 
characters in Hercules? Uh, he's the god. It's pa it's Pan. He's a god. He is a um, uh, what do they call it? Half he's half goat, half man. Yeah. Oh. And he is. He's he is a uh, a satyr. That's what it yeah. is. Oh. A satyr. And so he would. Pan was the counterpart, but he was the Greek god of the wild, shepherds and flocks, rustic music, and companion of the nymphs. I see. Hi, how are you? Companion of the nymphs. That's right. That's like, all of a sudden I hear, lady. So he's bringing over a bench. Oh, we've got some tables and benches here. We can kind of put these out. Do these look familiar? No. No? Where's that from? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The library. <laughs> Those little statues with the private parts were on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, were they remember? really? Like when you walk in and then there's a helmet. Yeah. That's the same table, right? I think so. Pretty sure. But that's stuff on it. So I was like, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. So this is the library table. I mean, some big fan could recreate the library if they wanted to. Yeah, he's gonna grab a couple of those. This is really cool. Yeah, you've got these beautiful inlays in there. It's a lot of time took to make this. Yeah. I mean, it's like. I really like uh, it. It's beautiful. It's really cool. It's always covered up. <laughs> yeah, it was always covered. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, it was covered with like the little nudie statues and everything. I'm like, oh, this yeah, looks great exactly. with no like naked on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably really old. Yeah. Let's That's see what these really are. cool. Everything's intact, all these little yeah. things, especially after all the people that go through the library at the parties. Right. We have these end tables. I don't know if these look familiar. They look yeah, like they've had some wear. The living room. <laughs> Weren't those in the living room? Like next yeah. to the couches? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it shows, you know, time will get you. I think this Classic. will go for a lot of money. Yeah, it's already doing, I mean, like I am, relative I to what our estimates are, I think that's doing pretty well. Yeah. Could you imagine? That one, I, it, I actually believe that one does on come with a, pipe. it does come with a pie. I just imagine him in his oh, yeah. closet, putting this on. Grabbing a Pepsi. <laughs> tying the thing. Yeah, then grabbing the Pepsi. Grabbing his little Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hello. here, Rick. Let's, let's actually shift this in over here, Ricky. Let's bring it here. We can kind of hide Marilyn a little like, bit. Doesn't it look like Marilyn Monroe shops at Trashy Lingerie? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to explain to Cody that like it's actually a nice place. Oh, that's no, very it's, expensive. It's yeah. So that this guy's I already know. at six thousand like, dollars. So oh, that's nice. good. Yeah. What is at six thousand? <gasps> wow. Before it even yeah. starts. Yeah. I better not touch it too much. Eleven <laughs> bids in. So this is cool, Crystal. We can. No, so no. so all of those books. Gloves. All of those books that you were referring to, right? Okay. Oh, we'll get the other one. We're gonna take yes. the hood off. That's okay. We just we'll just pull one out, Rick. Oh That's my gosh, good. these roller things give me give me PTSD <laughs> from all the scrapbooks. Oh, <laughs> Probably you too. <laughs> so we've got all of the volumes from '56 to I think it goes into the '90s. No, this is the 2000s. Does it go into the yeah, 2000s? It goes into like 2000s. Did you know you'd end up being an archivist? Yeah, so we've boxed them all. <laughs> what, is, what are these? Are these actual... Yeah, so he'd have these volumes. And then you said that he would have these out in a, on a shelf next to the fireplace. Is that right? Yeah, those were all in the library. And he had them bound. So yeah. you'd have... Wow, what year is that? This is 70. That's cool. So you get, you know, let's see if we can... All I've seen is like yeah. ode to that time, not like actually that time. So that's let's very see, cool. We've... Oh, I saw it's some cool. of the, It's the cool nymphs. to think that he's bound that that he went through and bound all of these books yeah, yeah. um i see the big bunny i thought i saw barbie benton in there wow it's the year them, you'll probably find like his little unless you've gone through them each one by one you'll probably find like, like a hugh hefner note card like his, wow. one of his pieces oh of yeah really yeah, yeah. he used to reference them a lot it wasn't just like to have like when he would do research when he would do all kinds of stuff so, he referenced them all the time. so this was all i'm assuming this is all September to ninth, September to December of 1970. So somebody might buy this and find like extra goodies in the pages. <laughs> yeah, because we're selling <laughs> we're selling it all as one lot. Yeah. So you get you get the whole collection, uh, which is really 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 is incredible. Is the library photo in the um, in there with it? Yes. Yeah, I think it's online. Yeah. In the library, I saw it. I feel like Marvin would like to see that. There's 137 bound backs. We have a 
um, we have two bids at this point. We're at six thousand dollars. Yeah, um, it's a whole collection. Let's see. It runs to 2013. Okay. So 1956 to oh, volume wow. 60 B to 2013. Wow, um, so I'm in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is there, um, I want to see the picture of like it, it in the room. I don't. Oh, it's not on there. We, they, we don't have it on the, on on the terms. We did, you did have the, I saw you, saw, you said the Hef painting was in that room, yeah. right? And it was surrounded by these books. So let's see if that Hef painting happens to have that oh, with yeah, the law. Oh yeah, that's smart. Oh yeah. So we can get really there big. There we go. So you see all of the, the volumes yeah. there. That's really cool. And that then the painting That is iconic. That's his backgammon table here. Yeah. And then that chair, this table is yeah. right next to it. So it's on this side. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's I'll cool. So that's a great picture. Yeah, that's beautiful. I mean, that's this is Playboy history right here, which is yeah. great. Just yeah, a white ped, like, two white pedestals, just like a one for each of these dogs. <laughs> you know? He just did them. They're on, they're on top oh, of the black one. Oh, they're on top of the eight black. Yeah, I'll just bring them and then we'll put them up on pedestals and we'll highlight it here. And then my thought is maybe we can just do a convo about just kind of what we have out. Those were in front of the fireplace, right? Yeah. 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 Girl, baby. Oh, yeah. Marilyn's in on this picture. <laughs> What's nice. that? If we have some that aren't, that would be oh, great. These icons. Oh, Hefner are cute. Marilyn and Hef are having their party in the library with their bound behind. books on display. <laughs> <laughs> Kiana oh, Surya. That's so funny costume. There are nine of these. Come around here to. Uh, there are nine of these from the Playboy archives in the auction and these were gosh so coveted to wear one of these is just completely iconic and what they what you would do is you would try and see which one you like fit in like if you look inside like Kiana wore this and Saria wore this and then it ended up with Irina so um I actually know her and so you would wear the the bunny costume for your jobs but when the job was over you return the bunny costume back to Playboy. So they uh, made sure to hang on to their little costumes because they were so precious to them. But now the costumes are being auctioned. Oh, and they come with the little bow tie and the cuffs with the little rabbit head cufflinks and the ears, of course. So yeah, these costumes are very rare. There's, there's, I feel like there's really not that many of them in the world because different girls would just borrow different costumes. Yeah. Who's that? Michelle. Michelle. Pro that was probably Michelle. Oh, what's her name? She would always do hosting stuff. She married a firefighter. I forget her last name. But I remember Irina Vironina, I remember oh, yeah. her. She's yeah. this one. Sorry, I apologize. Let me wardrobe the black one. That's the Robert Michelle Cavalli. Hill, long brown hair. Roberto right. Cavalli. I don't know. Oh, that's more than Michelle Hill. Oh. It's Michelle Garlic from oh, the 2000s. Oh, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Michelle um, Garlic. We've got Michelle Garlic from the 2000s. And th that particular one was designed by Roberto Cavalli. Oh, So that's wow. one of our... You know, that's one of our higher fashion elemented ones that oh, we've got. Oh, someone's already bid on that. Yeah, we've got eight bids at 3000 on the black one. And then we've got on this particular pink one. Who's, whose name's on this one? Irina. Um, Vor, Voronina. Like, Voronina. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. 11 bids. Yeah. That's so funny. Um, and we have some others, you know, blacks and teals. And um, uh, we have a, a Jaguar oh, yeah. one, you know, if you like oh, a that was that leopard print. Tiffany... Fallon. Fallon. Yes, it is. Oh, and she here, was yeah. like the best one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. She's, a, she's so sweet. She's a yeah. sweetheart. She's my favorite playmate in the world. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. She's just so classy. She, nice. she, she's so nice. So sweet. She ended up marrying uh, somebody from the Rascal Flats. Yeah, Joan on Rooney, the lead singer. Okay. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. I wonder if they're bidding on their own costumes. <laughs> Let's hope they win them. <laughs> yeah, Keep them in the hands of those who wore them. I know. Yes. I know. Playboy, give them back. To no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is at home. That's the only thing I have. 
Like I threw away like all the clothes I wore like for the that's stupid like, parties. That's like so iconic. Because I wear like this stuff every day. So I'm like, I'm not going to wear one of those dresses again. Or Yeah, <laughs> you're like, hi, I'm me too. <laughs> okay. We're going to take off. Lee, did you remember all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she used to live at the Playboy Mansion. She's got some experience. She, it smells familiar to her. Yeah. It definitely does. I think she, she's so happy here. She's like in her element for sure. That's so. great. She's like, oh, I remember begging for treats by this chair. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, well, thank you. This is definitely a walk down memory lane. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you. And looking forward to everybody bidding uh, next week. It's going to be exciting. Week. Yeah, all yeah. Right. Cool. Let's go. Yeah, we just found the movie night couches. I just had a thought of, you know, sitting on these couches at movie night for all that time for so long, for almost 10 years. So. A lot of time was spent sitting on one of these. And if I spend a lot of time, Hef spent a lot of time sitting on these couches. And his brother, Keith, a lot of people on these couches. Checking out all that stuff was interesting, especially the bunny costumes. Like I, I do feel a lot of those costumes are just the girls' rights to just own them. Like, hey, you wore this for so long, like here you go. But Playboy is still selling them. There's bids on so many things already, but it's really interesting seeing the furniture and everything down there. And Hef's iconic clothing, smoking jacket, so interesting. But that's all coming up. For me, I've been doing a lot of press and it's finally winding down. I did New York, I did Los Angeles, I went to the UK and did UK press and then I came back and I was so burnt out. But then my publicist, Joseph, he said, oh, you have all of these like Australia things to do and I thought oh my gosh really he said yeah you know internationally you have a lot of attention and I just you know I'm grateful I did all the Australian press but now I'm burnt out I really am I'm talking about the same thing over and over and over and I'm a little bit burnt out so I'm gonna leave this at chapter seven for now hopefully pick up another time or I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm just being honest. I really want to focus on other things that I love, that I actually love and enjoy and I'm passionate to talk about. You know, my, my real job, <laughs> as most of us know, books <laughs> really like it's this isn't a job. I know people say people say a lot like, oh, you're profiting off a dead man or whatever I get that a lot still like oh you wrote this book to profit off a dead man like my job is real estate like that's what I've been doing and that's what I've made millions and millions of dollars doing is real estate if you think about trying to profit off of someone when <laughs> you have to also think about the other side and I know I've talked about this before but this is you know, Hugh Hefner who built an entire empire off of profiting from me and other women, Marilyn Monroe, the very first issue, she didn't get paid. Most of us didn't really make much money. So anyway, I definitely don't want to keep reliving and reliving and reliving, reliving abuse when I have so, so much of a better time following the light and following things that I'm passionate about and things that I love. So for now, this is going to go on the shelf. I'm going to get back to what I like and love and what I'm passionate about, which is nature and travel and Hawaii and building. You know, I've kept it secret for a long time. While I was at the mansion, I was buying houses. I was remodeling houses. I was selling houses. I was making millions of dollars at the mansion behind the scenes. I told nobody because I was afraid it was going to be taken away from me. And so now when I'm building houses, I still keep it quiet because I'm, for some reason I have this PTSD that it's gonna all be taken away from me. But I wanna finally talk about that more. I love Hawaii, I love a quieter life. I love being out of the <laughs> matrix and off, off grid. And so that's what I will focus on moving forward. So I hope to see you there. I love you and I'll talk to you soon.